international integration is very much about the processes and impacts of local, regional, national, European and global uh, integration. International integration is about a result of a series of flows, flows of investment, uh, financial flows, trade flows, investment flows, people flows, ideas uh, flowing uh, across the world. One of the things that I'm currently working on is um, trying to see to what extent we can um, understand the outcomes people have, not only through the individual characteristics, but also in terms of the um, immigrant community that they are part of um, and the country of origin where they come from, to what extent that continues to influence them, and also of course the institutional context and the context of reception to an extent within the host country. And I try to disentangle to some extent the effects at all these different levels in that. There's um, a lot of potential of this kind of research to inform policy making, to help us avoid perhaps some of the mistakes that were made in other countries in the past, um, and to make the best of the um, talent and of the people that we have in this country. I've been part of a research consortium that looks at civic integration policies in a range of northwestern European countries. And what we've looked at there is the recent light culture, the guiding culture debates in Europe, uh, to what extent there has been a retreat of multiculturalism in some places, how, again, civic education curricula in these five countries um, address issues of diversity and, and, and therefore are inclusive or not. Even though a lot of my research is, is uh, qualitative in nature, you can identify a, a range of parameters that are important, for instance, for integration uh, formation processes. Another area of inquiry that we're interested in is the impact that technology has, flows of technology and technological innovations that are taking place here and the impact that they can have on the development process in, in, um, in developing countries. Mobile phones actually have helped in terms of helping um, rural areas gain access to financial services for example and this breaking down that barrier, that information barrier um, is, is something that will really help in the development process and will really help kind of scale up agriculture, commercialise agriculture. One that I'm very heavily involved in myself is uh, the phenomenon, the growing phenomenon of um, foreign direct investment taking place out of the emerging, fast growing emerging uh, economies and firms from these countries internationalising quite rapidly and investing in the developed world um, at an increasing pace. I head up um, a 25 country research network where we look at the factors driving this phenomenon, the impact and the policy uh, considerations arising from our understanding of this phenomenon. A long-running project of mine is called the external wealth of nations. So what it means is what part of each country's wealth is held overseas and equally what part of each country's economy, if you like, is uh, driven by the decisions of foreign investors. So what we do there is we essentially have a global monitor, a global database, which keeps track of um, how each country varies in terms of its reliance on foreign capital and also as a supplier. If you can build cross-border institutions, then cross-border finance can actually be uh, very welcome and improve life for everyone. If you do not build those institutions, I think the current crisis tells us it can lead to really big uh, and damaging uh, episodes. Trinity College has an excellent group of researchers, uh, particularly drawn from the Department of Sociology, Economics, Political Science, that study various aspects of international integration. There are good synergy effects because a lot of these projects are interdisciplinary in nature. Trinity in the city centre has a very powerful role in uh, shaping the opinions of policymakers here, shaping media opinions and so on. And that means if you're in a capital city like here, uh, your influence is not just local, it's de facto directly feeding in at a European level. A single event, however apparently trivial and however remote, can ripple its way through this interconnected, uh, integrated, interdependent world. With an integrated economy do come new risks, you know, but old risks kind of are, are eliminated as a result of that. So um, if we diversify 
um, and as the global economy becomes more integrated, then we're diversifying our risk at the same time. The Blue Skies research, the big ideas, these do take time to develop, these do take time to evolve, but this is where real change comes. <laughs>